Gio uploaded a video to our Patreon site last week. Uh, unless you're a patron, you wouldn't have seen it. But he made some very, very good points. So I'm going to show you some clips from it in a second because it got me thinking and it got me wanting to expand on what he said. On Some of you will think it's good for football. I think all of you would think it would be good for West Ham and other Premier League clubs, if indeed West Ham remain a Premier League club. Um, but I think it might be a, a route forward to do something that um, the clubs have been looking to do for quite some time this may be the final excuse that they need to do it uh, before I do that I just want to thank Ed Ed messaged me on Twitter maybe a week or so ago so he said it was very nice there's some very nice things thank you for uploading we appreciate the videos during the lockdown or rest of it can I have your address I want to send you some sweets he said well, and so anyway he weren't joking I've got a box of sweets I mean, a, a pizza box full of sweets. Ed, you're a diamond. There was a lovely note for, from the company who were saying things about West Ham fans and videos with its sweetiebox.co.uk. Um, Ed, you're a superstar. Thank you very much. I'm going to hide them. I've got to be honest. I'm going to hide them in the man cave because I've seen a few of my favourites in there. I do particularly like the cherries. I like the cherries. Very, very nice. And in particular... Anyone like them ones? They're beer bottles. They don't taste like beer. But these are always my favourites. I'm having a rummage round. Maybe if they're lucky, the kids might get might get that. I'm I'm maybe I'm a bit old for that. But I'm not old for that. And old too old for that or that. Anyway. Thank you, Ed. You're a diamond. Right, anyway, Geo. Have a little listen to what Geo's got to say. Enjoy. Now lower league clubs are gonna be skint. We know that fact. They're going to be looking forward to the 30th of June when some of their players' contracts come to an end. It gets them off the books. Now, those players get a severance package, so they have another month's pay on top of that. But do you replace them? So, what's the best kind of player, apart from freebies, for the lower league clubs to sign this summer? Players they're not financially liable for next season. And that's Premier League youngsters. That's the Nathan Holland, Nathan Trott, Connor Coventry. And now I don't know the players from all the other Premier League clubs, but that's the West Ham creme de la creme. That's the bunch you want to come get from our club. If I was a League 1 or League 2 side, I'd be ringing up West Ham right now and saying, where is Nathan going? Can we have him? Because if you get him and your season is delayed or postponed or even cancelled, you owe nothing. You want to get players you're not financially liable for that you can get in to do a pre-season with. And if the season's postponed, well, it's not ideal. You're all right. I'm seeing a lot of football league clubs really worried now. Um, I, I, say really, I say lots. Andy Holt, I follow him, the Accrington Stanley one. He's saying next season, if they have one and it's behind closed doors, it's bad news. It's bad news for them because they don't get the gate receipts and stuff they have the EFL um, I follow player so they get a bit of money from that but it's not enough it's not enough for clubs like Accrington Stanley so if the season doesn't go ahead next season they're bang in trouble they've got all these people to pay for all this staff the players the non-players staff he's got all this to pay for he's got no way of funding it and then he was saying basically if it goes ahead with the crowd it's not going to happen, is it? He knows it's not going to happen. So he's just saying they need help. The EFL clubs need help. And he's looking at the organisation saying, you lot need to help us out. They've been given money from the Premier League, but they're not giving it. It's, it's an advance on the money they were going to get anyway. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous now to be a football league club because you're going to get a quick cash and injection. But in future, the money that was going to come in, you've already had it. It's gone. Um... You're also allowed to take out loans. They're getting backed by loans and stuff now. But that's dangerous. Because how are you going to pay the loan back when you, your cash flow's impacted? English Football League clubs need to loan Premier League clubs now. Or from other English Football League clubs. But in particular Premier League. Because Premier League clubs can afford to pay the wages. West Ham can afford to pay Nathan Holland's wages while he's on loan at a League One side for the whole season. I don't think there's a better opportunity than ever the next season... For Premier League youngsters to go on loan and get loads of game time. The squads are going to be smaller next season. Premier League all the way down. The squads are going to be smaller. The wage bill is going to be smaller. 
West Ham can take advantage of this by allowing like, their youngsters to top clubs, lower league, and they're going to play a lot of minutes. Mm. Good man. Good man. Wasn't expecting it to finish it quickly. He usually talks for a lot longer than that, GM. No, seriously, those are only snippets from the video itself. Um, I'll give you details at the end of uh, if you want to sign up to us on Patreon, you can do that for as much as, as much, as much as £2.80 a month for the lowest tier. But I I looked and listened to what Gio was saying. Then I thought to myself, hold on. What about taking it a step forward? What about feeder clubs? Now, I know it's elitist. I know it's not good in terms of the lower league clubs. But how many of these lower league clubs are going to go out of business? How many of these lower league clubs were struggling like Berry were before this went under? Now, the concept is, is a well-worn um, and well-argued one. Because at the moment, there's certain restrictions. I think there's Premier League restrictions. For instance, you can only take two players from a certain club, something like that. Now, what about a club that takes all the youngsters from a Premier League team? Now, what does it do? detrimentally for a club. Let's take, let's use Southend as an example, right? What would it mean if West Ham took over Southend and Southend become West Ham's feeder club? Well, it would mean the likes of Nathan Holland and so on and so forth would be there um, and would be able to enhance their careers, get first team experience playing in competitive games. The, the upsides I think are there for all to see. What's the downside, first of all? What's the da downside for someone like Southend? Or what about if we go with Berry? What about if Berry were Manchester United's feeder club? Well, Berry don't even exist anymore. Now, clearly, there's an identity there. There's an argument to be had for shirts. There's an argument to be had for badges and stuff like that. Would they be called Manchester United B? No, I think there would have to be some rules put together. Berry would probably be thinking, well, hold on, this kills the dream. Southend would be thinking, this kills the dream. We can never play in the Premier League because there have to be rules against that. There's You couldn't ever face each other because it would bring up all sorts of um, betting issues. Because, as you know, this happens in Spain. Barcelona have a B team. Barcelona can't be drawn against Barcelona A in the cup. Obvious reasons. Because they'll just say, well, hold on, we own you. Step aside, we're going to win this. It would be more. It would be like a buy. That cannot happen. So does it kill the dream for someone like Southend? Yes, it does. You're never going to play at the Premier League and contest it with the big boys. But let's be realistic. That wasn't going to happen anyway. And I just wonder if it means the difference between extinction and survival, would it be something that the lower leagues would, would be interested in? Because... You've only got to look at what's happening in football at the moment. Premier League clubs, because of the TV deals, may well be able to carry on for some time and indefinitely without there being crowds. Will they feel the pinch? Yes. But I think it will cost them about, for West Ham, about 27 million quid next season. OK. But actually, in the larger scheme of things, bear in mind the income was 190. It's a, it's a fair loss, but you can still operate. For the Premier, for the lower league clubs, this is not the same. In many respects, the revenue through the gates is everything. That will certainly make the difference between them surviving, going into administration and going into liquidation. For Premier League clubs, it won't. Not if they're managed correctly, as we've discussed before. Yes, wages will have to drop, certainly. Um, but by and large, you will get more or less the same product, um, good cast players out on the pitch. Some of the best players in the world will be playing in the Premier League. Um, it, it carries on regardless. But what about Southend? What about Berry, who have obviously already gone out of existence? Accrington, Stanley, Grimsby, lower league clubs. You know the type. If they're honestly going to go out of business, is it not preferable for Southend? So we have Dean Garner and Nathan Holland and Connor Coventry 
Um, who else have we got there? Cullen? If he's not worked his way into the West Ham team. Not just that. What about when we get a player that hasn't worked out particularly? Like Jordan Hugel. Jordan Hugel then doesn't go to QPR. Jordan Hugel goes to South Bend to get some game time. It's easy for us to put a player there for two or three months. Registration is easy. I also think that what they get is they get players and they have financial security. I guess for as long as West Ham remain in the Premier League. Because the only downside then is if West Ham get relegated, then can we afford to run a B team? Possibly not. But, I just thought it was an option, and particularly when you've got these brilliant youngsters coming through. We've got, um, uh, what's his name, Kai Corbett's coming through. Diallo's coming through as well. What it also does is it gets them used to playing with each other. So if all of a sudden you find three youth players, like Declan Rice, Dean Garner and Ben Johnson or Ngakia, all playing in the first team, well, that's fine. They've played together at youth level through West Ham. They've played together at South End. And now they're playing together at West Ham. Now, I understand it, it would not be greeted with, with universal acceptance, particularly by lower league clubs. But I do wonder, I do wonder if it was Extinction or Feeder Club. Would that many choose extinction? If you'd like to support or sponsor Hammers Chat via Patreon, the link is in the description below. Literally, it's underneath this screen where the writing is. There's three tiers. It's $3.50 a month, which is which is £2.81 at the moment. It's $7.50 a month or $14.50 a month. There are several different tiers. We do lots of additional content. We give out prizes for long-standing um, patrons, uh, lots of exclusive stuff, chats, quizzes, podcasts, mug of tea with Gio and Gonzo. Charlie's got his own podcast on there and lots of little individual videos as well as exclusives on all the stuff Hammer Chat's doing before it comes out.